Good morning, all. It is July 7th. Yalkathon is this weekend, and it's a 72 hour readathon that is hosted by my friends um, Kendra and Gemma. I cannot go to Yalk because I am in the U.S., and I am poor, and I don't have the means to travel to the U.K., so my best bet is to join the Yalkathon. So I have the prompts list on my laptop here that I'll look at, and it looks like a good mix between, um, like, photo or, like, actual, like, um doing stuff prompts and then reading prompts. Um, I don't really have a game plan about what I want to read because honestly I'm still reading A War of Two Queens that I need to get finished before my hold time for it or um, checkout time for it is over. I am not even at halfway percent right now. I'm just trying to take my time with it. And I need to read Loveless by Alice Oseman because of our book club live show is next week. So that is something I need to do. So I'm going to maybe try to like at least start Loveless this weekend. Um, I don't know if I will get that much reading done on it, but we'll see. Um, I know there's a, a read a quick read which for me is, usually means a graphic novel, so I'll probably uh, read the next and the Wicked and the Divine series because I'm trying to finish that series, um, or at least get myself current. I don't know if they're still um, making those volumes or not, but I am going to try to catch up. Um, let's see. Join in with the reading sprints. I do plan on being on the lives with Kendra and Gemma at some point this weekend, so I'll definitely be doing that. Read a book by your fave author or blurbed by them. Um, right now, just with, since I only read the um, From Blood and Ash series and the Shadow and the Ember series um, from Jennifer L. Armentrand. I don't know if I can really count her as a favorite author, but she's becoming a favorite author, so I'll guess I can kind of make that work. Um, let's see, read a diverse book. I'm sure uh, Loveless would fit that one because it's based on ace representation. Request an arc or buy a book. You deserve it. I have tons of books I could request on NetGalley, so that would be something I can do. Read a book with your favorite YA trope. I don't really have any favorite tropes that I can think of. I'll have to really think about that one. Read a signed book or one that you want signing. Mm -hmm. I only I think I only have one signed book. I could read that. I've been meaning to reread that one for a while. Um, I'll have to see. It's the A Book in the Attic by Melissa Gunther. I've been meaning to reread that one and pick up the other books, but but yeah, those are like the reading prompts that are kind of like somewhat my game plan is for for that. Um, it just really depends on what I get done this weekend. Usually for um, these types of readathons, I try to read as much as I can. I do have a book of cold cases uh, as audio on my phone, so that may be another um, one that I get to. Mm. Could be a quick read. Let's see where I'm at. I'm at 40% currently. Uh, we'll have to see what I actually I get to so but yeah my plan is to even though it's just Thursday so the readathon doesn't start quite yet I'm just starting it early to kind of have like an extended weekend type of vlog um, today I am right now I am just chilling out I'm about to have my cup of coffee uh, before going to work um, 
yeah, I'm just watching YouTube and doing some work on my um, laptop while I kind of wake up more and then I have to head to work. Um, but yeah, that is my plan so far for today. I'll check in with you guys with an update. Later. Friday. I am about a little over almost 30 minutes till the first sprints with Kendra for Yalkathon. It really officially started yesterday afternoon. Um, I finished listening to The Book of Cold Cases by Simone St. James. I gave that four stars. I really enjoyed listening to it. The audiobook was really well done and it definitely left me questioning throughout the whole thing, so I really did enjoy that. Um, this morning, whenever I was on my way to my doctor's appointment for my allergy shots, I started listening to Educated by Tara Westover. This is the, the book that my Tarot TBR picked out um, for the Eagle card. I am only 4% of the way into it right now, so only like the first couple of chapters. Um, so far, so good. Um, the narrator for that as well as so far is doing a pretty good job. Um, with those two books, I don't necessarily have a book plan, like a prompt plan for those two. Um, I don't really even expect to finish Educated this weekend, but I am going to start um, a graphic novel for the quick read prompt, which is going to be Har Harley Quinn Reckoning by Rachel Allen. Um, I need to return it to my library through Libby today, so it's definitely a perfect thing to do a quick read for. So I am excited to get into that, and I'll be reading a little bit in maybe a war or two queens later on um, tonight. We'll see. I plan on being on the sprints as long as possible tonight. Um, Jordan does have a friend coming into town, so we'll see how chaotic things are going to get this afternoon and or for the rest of this weekend, honestly. But um, for the time being, I'm going to chill out for a little bit longer before lunchtime and before I hop on sprints with Kendra and the others and we'll see what kind of mischief we get up to. Hey guys, just wanted to update you guys. I had a slight change of plans when it came to what I was going to read next. I'm not reading the Harley Quinn uh, Reckoning book because it is not a graphic novel like I thought it was, so I switched to The Wicked and Divine at Volume 7. Going um, halfway through that currently. I'm still on sprints with Kendra in Gem. I now hope had to hop off. But um, I am, have like two more hours left in my work day, or like at least an hour and a half left in my work day. So I'm hoping to get things wrapped up here soon so I can head home and get some more reading done. But so far, so good. <laughs> This is not the most flattering angle, but okay. I wanted to update you guys. I am home now. I am just hanging out on my friend Morgan's channel for the last bit of her sprints. I finished The Wicked and Divine Volume 7 and gave it three and a half stars. I definitely enjoyed it a lot more than the other volumes that I've read so far. And now I'm going to take my makeup off because my face is starting to itch a bit and grab a War of Two Queens and try to get some more reading done in that. <laughs> Hey 
Hey guys, I don't think I've actually did a speaking update today, but um, after waking up around like 9.30ish, um, well 9, I think, um, I got up, took a shower, hopped on Joma's Sprint for her 12 hour live show and started reading A War Two Queens. I got past the 300 page mark, so I am good to go for that. Um, a little bit more than halfway in the book but other than that there's not so much going on i made me coffee had lunch and just now hanging out on sprint for a few hours <laughs> Hey guys, I just wanted to wrap up this vlog because I didn't end up wrapping it up last night. Um, I didn't read a whole lot for a Yalkathon, but I did have a really great weekend. Um, yesterday was more of a chill day. I spent majority of the day reading The War of Two Queens by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I have maybe about 25% or at least a quarter of the book left. Let's see. I'm on page 475, and I am enjoying it. It's slow going, but I am chugging along. Um, last night, or yesterday, we didn't do a whole lot. Um, I play, I think I played The Sims for a bit, and um, in, at night, me and Jordan ended up watching um, Amidia's Homecoming on Netflix, so it was just a chill um, relaxing day. I did hop on um, in the chat of uh, Hope's Sprints um, just to do some more reading um, and I did a bunch of listening to Educated by Terror Westover while I was playing The Sims. I think I'm about like 70% the way through that one. So I'm making somewhat of a dent in my July TBR um, surprisingly. So but with that being, I um, did quite a few of the non-reading prompts for Yalkathon. I think I can fully completed at least one reading prompt, which isn't too bad. I, when it comes to like these short types of readathons, I try not to push myself too too much, especially since I already am kind of in a weird reading mood this these past two months with. Since I completed my actual reading goal um, for 52 books for the year, I'm kind of just taking it easy with my reading for the rest of the year and just seeing what I came up with. Um, I am going to be trying to read as much as I can for next month for Witchathon, which the announcement video for that is live on the channel now. So if you're interested in joining my readathon for the month of August, Go check out that video. Um, the Discord and the Google Drive it will be linked below in this video. Um, so yeah, um, I'll chat with you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.